Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Mail TV channel. Today we're going to talk about one more interesting topic which is secure DevOps for AKS. As we know, DevOps plus AKS are better in terms of balance between speed plus security in order to deliver the code faster at scale. Right, so that is reason why we use AKS. So we're going to discuss about uh, a potential use case today, okay, where we have the architecture diagram here. Okay, so this is the architecture diagram and we're going to talk about how to configure this architecture diagram and in, in very easy steps. Okay, now first of all, I would like to discuss about the, the components. Okay, so the, the components we have here. So the architecture components, if you see here, um, we have, um, sorry. So we have a, a, a GitHub um, enterprise, okay? So note it down guys, this is a GitHub uh, enterprise which requires license. The second one is Azure pipelines. The third one is container registry. Fourth one is AKS service, Azure Kubernetes service. And this is Azure policy. And we have Azure monitor, right? So these are the main important things you have to look at, observe here is, okay. So let's discuss about each and every component. So GitHub enterprise, what it will do is, it will simply host your, your source code, okay? where your developers can collaborate within your organization and you know open source communities so the reason why we are using github enterprise because for its advanced security features where we will discuss that one of the uh, the feature with github enterprise is to identify vulnerabilities in the code you write and in your open source dependencies also okay so now so this is our github enterprise repository okay where the developer is building some code using the visual studio and pushing that code to github repository now using the pipeline using the pipeline okay what we're trying to do is we are trying to build an image here okay so this is one this is two so this is three and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the image built and pushed over to the registry where you store the image version everything and then using the home chart and everything again you're updating here you're updating your images with the updates here any updates okay and now using the azure policy what you're trying to do is you're trying to configure you're trying to configure naked cluster 
okay in a very controlled manner and you have also a, a monitor deployed or your monitor so that you can monitor this cluster right using uh, app telemetry container health real time and log analytics okay so now if you look at here so here if you have any vulnerabilities here itself the github enterprise will definitely detect them and you can always clean up your code here itself in this in this between stage one and two so here itself you can do all those things now once the code is cleaned right so you are trying to you, you are you are triggering a pipeline to create a container image whenever there is an update in the code so they, the the pipeline triggers and it creates a new image and that will be stored in the azure container registry so you will be having a versions and everything the base image and the incremental images here and using the azure policy so why we need azure policy okay this azure policy is to enforce policies okay for example like so that you know your your all your resources are compliant uh, you know um, also manage the slas and they uh, adhere to the uh, your your uh, company policies right so that you know um, you you can also uh, implement certain rules like who can access the cluster who can uh, update the cluster and you know what is the cluster naming what is the um, the the SKU size of a cluster you you can deploy in the production and all those things so this is a very uh, very very controlled and secured way to provision a aks cluster using azure devops so if you look at the checkpoints here let me quickly um, one second Let me uh, quickly clean this so that you know we can um, talk about various checkpoints here. Now this is one place. This is your will be your developer control. This is where you're gonna do your first security check-in, security checkpoint using the. Um, uh, github enterprise and here even in the pipeline also even here between the the container and even you can also make sure that you can always scan all your images for you know image health and all that right and the other thing is using azure policy you can make sure that you have your RBAC rules, you have compliance rules, and any other standards can be implemented. Right? Even here also, using this EACD pipeline also, right? You can also have a, a vulnerability scan. As one more checkpoint and here obviously you will have you can also um, this is uh, your monitor but here on the AKS cluster you can also use some sort of a, a purely APM tools or a, you know um, threat hunting tools for more um, you know focus on the security point of view so let me give a quick recap okay so so the topic is about how to configure how to provision a, a secure devops environment for an aks cluster the cluster can be any node it can be one node two node three node four node doesn't matter because you're just uh, using a cicd pipeline here 
but the checkpoints you have to make sure that the, as a part of the best practices so these are the various components you should tell that hey you have to you should want to use the github enterprise repository because it have the by default it will have the uh, the source code scan okay as the as a security feature and you will use the azure pipelines use the container registry aks cluster azure policy and azure monitor so azure pipeline is to provision the uh, the container images the images built from the source and the container registry is to host the the images and azure policy is to uh, implement the rbac or compliance standards right to before they provision the aks cluster and the azure monitor is for the uh, to monitor the container health and everything right so guys uh, if you have any questions please use the comment section and uh, stay tuned for more updates and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much and have a nice day